Alright. Okay, so. Why are you not a morning person? Because <laughs> uh, I stay up late, so when you're up late, you're going to be grouchy in the morning. Oh, yes. I'm, you know, you got to get your sleep. Mm -hmm. And who's your best friend on the Ravens? My best friend on the Ravens? Yes. The person I've spent most time with? Yes. Probably Josh Burnside? Nice. Definitely. And who's your best friend in the OUA who's not on the Ravens? Um, to be honest, I don't know a lot of people anymore, uh -huh. but my best childhood friend uh, played for Brock last year, oh, nice. but he graduated now, so. He counts, though. He counts, he yeah. His name's Adam. Yeah. Okay. And besides the Ravens, what is your favorite OUA team? None. Nobody. I don't have a Other favorite. than, like, another None. sport. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ravens. Fine. <laughs> At least it's not the GGs. Yes. If you were not a hockey player, what would you end up being? Um, a fireman or a lawyer. Really? One of the two. Really? Yes. Interesting. Cool. That's cool. Okay. Thanks. If you could have dinner with any past or present NHL player, who would you have dinner with? Uh, Steve Eiserman. Hmm. Pretty good answer. Yeah. He works with the game now. He's had experience as a player, yes. GM. Iconic Canadian hockey player, Definitely. Steve Eisman. Yes. And with that said, what three questions would you ask him? Oh gosh! If you could only ask him three questions. That's tough. Um, either deep. I like to hear stories about hockey. They would all be off the ice stuff because you know you don't really get to experience that mm -hmm. so much. So I would just like to hear about what the life is in the NHL off the ice and who he hangs around with and what he liked to do. Yeah. Probably stuff like that. And what is your go-to shootout move? I can't tell you. I can't tell people that. Okay. Now they're going to know. If you could live in any country aside from Canada, what country would you want to live in? Oh, somewhere in Europe. Definitely. France, probably. And what NHL season was your favorite season to watch? Uh, to tell you the truth, I don't watch a lot of hockey. No, I don't. <laughs> I keep up with it, and I watch the highlights, but I don't watch a lot of the games. What is your favorite Winter Olympic sport other than hockey? Um, I think the snowboarding is really cool. Skiing, snowboarding, the tricks. the tricks. Yeah, definitely. I think that's appealing to me. What is your favorite summer Olympic sport? Um, I'm a big... I love the 100-meter sprint. I think it's super exciting with Usain Bolt and what's going on with him. and I think mm -hmm. that's the best, definitely. Cool. And soccer. Soccer's fun. Cool. Yeah. Growing up... What was your favorite activity to do with your parents? Um, I feel like we were always outside playing. Mm -hmm. I think uh, both my parents were athletes and we just played all kinds of sports out front. And at night was always board games. Stuff and like that. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you want to go? Ooh, somewhere with a beach. California? California. Yeah, maybe. I've never been. I'd Hawaii? Go, I'd, I'd go to Australia. Australia, that's, yeah, I could do that too. Hawaii or California. Okay. What place in the world do you most want to go to that you haven't been to before? California or Hawaii. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your favorite NHL jersey? Oh. Like color. Or um, maybe Colorado? Yeah. Colorado? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like those. Yes. They're nice. Who is your favorite NHL player? Um. Patrice Bergeron. Yes. Who is your least but favorite I hate Boston, NHL so player? My least? Yep. Brad Marshall. Oh yes, good job. Oh yeah. <laughs> I hate him. No, he's, he's awful. What is your favorite NHL city? Like, just the city that it's based in. Um, oh gosh. Tampa? Tampa. Uh, Chicago, probably. Chicago. And can you tell me a funny story about yourself growing up? Oh, funny story. Jeez, that's broad. Um, I'll get back to that one. How's that? Okay. Proudest moment of your life. Proudest moment of my life? Ooh, I'll get back to that one, too. Those are deep, broad questions. I, gotta think I about told those. you. Yeah, I know. What is your favorite color? Uh, red. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, those are my kind things. Of I can do those. fitting that you're on the Ravens, then. Definitely. What is Color your scheme. favorite place to spend your downtime in Ottawa? Uh, home. I'm a homebody. Yes. I love being at home in my bed. Yeah. 
and yeah, I'm watching Netflix. If you could switch places in the world with anybody, who would it be? Uh, Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, The Rock. Yeah. He has a cool life. Because then you'd think? be an actor. I would be an actor. Or, is, or a musician. I'd have to see. It'd yeah. be a tough choice. What is your favorite type of car? Um, Maserati. Definitely. What is your favorite music genre? Uh, I'm pretty diverse. I think in the summer it's country, mm -hmm. mostly. Um, but I, I, listen, really I listen to just about anything, yeah. What is your biggest pet peeve? Biggest pet peeve? Uh, biggest pet peeve, biggest pet peeve. I'll get back to that one too. Sorry, I'm if skipping you, these. <laughs> if you could watch an NHL game in any arena, what arena would you want to go to? To be honest, I've never been to Montreal for a game. Really? And apparently the atmosphere there is crazy, so it's I would two love hours to go. Away. I know, I know. Someday, definitely Montreal. And apparently, it's like much steeper than like Ottawa. Really yeah, it is. Yeah, I heard a lot of good things. What is your favorite movie and why? Favorite movie. Um, I think growing up, it was always Talladega Nights. Mm -hmm. um, I just have memories watching it on the bus with my teammates, and we watch it all the time, ten times a year. So, price probably that still. Yeah. And. You're bilingual. I so am. How often do you speak French these days? Very rarely. And it's sad. I really need to try and keep up with mm -hmm. it because you lose it, right? What is your favorite book? My favorite book? Um, I read the, uh, you know, the American Sniper story? Like the no. movie well, with Bradley I, Cooper? It's the book so. based on that, on the real life story. Interesting. Yeah, it's really cool. Was it good? Yeah, it's great. What is your most memorable game as a Raven? Um, I think it was Nationals my first year mm -hmm. when we went to uh, four overtimes against yeah. Saskatchewan and they were the top ranked team and oh, I wow. think that was really, really exciting. It was fun. And like it must have been just really oh, it was cool because like, it was your first year. So. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So it was very memorable for me. What is your go-to pre-game meal? Um, I always have pasta. Always. Every game. Yeah. What Meat sauce. It? Okay. I switch up the noodles. What's depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, ma I'm a macaroni guy. <laughs> and what is your go-to post-game meal? Uh, that varies. I think it, you, I don't have a preference. It's, mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> what is it's your guilty answer. pleasure? Um, candy. Like sugar yep. candy. What was your most favorite thing about going out to Leftbridge for Nationals this year? Um, I think it's just the camaraderie. I think with the guys, how we all kind of came together and, you know, spending a week over there yeah. was fun and how we kind of, how we played. We played, you know, obviously one game, but we played really well and uh, I think definitely that is just being around the guys for a week. How often do you cook? Um, I cook every day. Really? Yeah, I live on my own or else, like, you know, I wouldn't be eating. <laughs> what is your favorite meal to cook? Um, I like to barbecue. In the what summer. Type of meat? Oh, everything. Steak, chicken. What's your favorite meat? Uh, I'd say steak if I had to choose. Nice juicy steak, yeah. My favorite is chicken. Chicken? Yes. Yeah. Nice. What is your favorite type of junk food? Um, candy or chips? What type of or chips? Or pie. Apple pie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or ice cream. <laughs> pie is. I'm, pr I'm pretty easy going. What is your favorite piece of art? Piece of art. Oof. Um, can't say I'm a big uh, art guy. Really? I couldn't even tell you. I, would, I wouldn't even be able to tell I like you anything. Starry Night. Starry Night? It's Van, Van Gogh. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Good. <laughs> what has been your most memorable Halloween? Oh. Um, Halloween's fun because my birthday's the next day, so it's a good little two days for mm -hmm. me. Um, I just, I remember trick-or-treating with all my friends. I don't have yeah. a specific year, but I definitely dressing up and going over to my friend's house and cool. trick-or-treating and seeing how much candy we have. That was fun for me. What is your favorite Halloween costume that you've worn? Oh, I think I did, I think I did Where's Waldo like seven times in a row. I was lacking a bit of creativity, so, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it worked though. I made it wouldn't work. Wouldn't it be cool though if, like, every year that you did Rose Waldo, you added a new, like, you know, thing that he loses in the book? Yeah, I should have. I didn't think of that. 
Not very, very creative. Who is your celebrity crush? Oh, um, Scarlett Johansson, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's a good actress. She is very good. If you could own any exotic animal, what would you want? Tiger. Tiger. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or a lion. I'm going. I elephant? Am, no, no. A dolphin. Oh, that'd be cool. That's thinking outside the box. I didn't know that. What is your favorite memory about your sister and brother? Um, favorite memory? Uh, we used to go to a cottage every year when we were kids. Uh -huh. uh, a family cottage that we used to rent. Um, I just remember having a blast. I'm yeah. looking forward to it every summer, so that's a big one. And what is your favorite ethnicity of food to eat? Uh, <laughs> favorite ethnicity of food? Asian, Mexican, Italian? I'm Mexican. Okay. Mexican, for sure. Oh. Go ahead, sir. What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Chocolate. Chocolate. As much that's chocolate. Boring. As much chocolate no, as you can that's put in boring. there. Boring. Okay, cookies and cream, is that better? Yes. Okay. Cookie dough. Chocolate is just so plain. I, hey, I'm a plain guy. I'm I a like, simple I, I live a simple I like life. Cookies and cream. Okay. Um I don't know what else. What is your favorite OUA rink to play in? Favorite one to play in? Yeah. Um that's a good question. I like that. I would have to say McGill because it's always an exciting game. Yeah. It's a big rivalry. They have a cool little Definitely. arena. Yeah, they have a band sometimes. And it's the, uh, it's good. It's always intense and games. And the bus has to drive up the And the bus has to get up the hill. It's always a pain in the butt. Yeah. If you could go back to your childhood, would you change anything about your hockey career? Um, yeah, I, I don't think I would take anything for granted. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you hear it a lot. Time kind of flies by. So. I feel like I would just enjoy everything more. I wouldn't change any decisions I've made. I would just make sure that every day I went into the lake and I'd enjoy it. And who is your favorite NHL broadcaster? Bob Cole. Okay. Definitely. Why? What about you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's not an easy question. Okay, back to the questions. Okay. You skipped over. All right. What is your biggest pet peeve? Biggest pet peeve? Um, loud chewers. Mm -hmm. That drives me nuts. Yes. Like crazy. Definitely. Okay, that's my yep. question. Tell Sorry, me, my answer. Tell me a funny story about yourself growing up. Oh, God. I, I can't answer that. I don't even know. Okay. And what is your proudest moment of your life? Proudest moment of my life? Proudest. Proudest moment of my life. Uh, um... Oh, God. We're going to have to do a, a part two. We're going to have to do a part two, and I'll answer all these questions. i got to think about the proudest moment. Do you know the proudest moment of your life? I don't know. See, it's hard. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you've had one yet. Well, there you go. I don't think I've had one yet either. Okay. I think they're coming, though. Like soon. when? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe my first child? Oh, yeah, true. When I get married? Ooh. That'd be a good day. Yes. We have so I'll kids. Keep, I'll keep you posted. How's that? I'll let yes. you know. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. That was fun. That was fun too.